good morning. This is your Daily Outlook for Monday, the 21st of May. The euro edged higher to 128.12, rebounding from a four-month low at 126.41 against the US dollar. The single currency tumbled on Friday on concerns over Greece's political uncertainty, as well as growing instability in the Spanish banking sector. European leaders of G8 met during the weekend to discuss the steps needed to fight Europe's debt crisis and reaffirm the importance that Greece remains in the eurozone. G8 leaders also focused on ways to stimulate the eurozone growth, but no detailed plans on how to resolve the problems were announced. But the single currency remains under pressure as investors are worried about a messy Greek default and exit from the euro ahead of the repeat election on June 17th. The US dollar stumbled as sentiment in the market stabilised. Versus the safe haven Japanese yen, the greenback edged lower to a three-month low at 78.98 on Friday from 79.46. Investors are closely watching for any signs about an intervention by the Bank of Japan to stop the yen from rising further. The British pound slid to a two-month low against the greenback on Friday as the UK economy remains vulnerable to the eurozone deepening problems. The pair rebounded from 157.32 to trade at 158.39 at the start of the new week. Sterling weakened following last week's Bank of England inflation report, which downgraded growth forecasts and raised expectations about further quantitative easing. The Bank of England's Adam Poston said he's less optimistic about the UK economy than he was last month when he took his vote away from further asset purchasing. Oil rose to $98.16 a barrel from $95.06. Gold rose to $1,599.28 an ounce from $1,567.74. And against the euro, it jumped to €1,246.54 from €1,239.64. Silver advanced to $28.90 an ounce from $27.80. Let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar pivot points at 127.30 with a preference to enter into short positions at 127.30. The dollar yen pivot points at 79.70 with a preference to enter into short positions at 79.70. The Aussie dollar pivot points at 0.9895 with a preference to enter into short positions at 0.9895. The sterling dollar pivot points at 15835 with a preference to enter into short positions at 15835. And the dollar cab pivot point is at 10135 with a preference to enter into long positions at 10135. Looking at commodities, the oil pivot points at 9290 with a preference to enter into short positions at 9290. And the gold pivot points at 1558 with a preference to enter into long positions at 1558. And the silver pivot point is at 2740 with a preference to enter into long positions at 2740. And of course, for more up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. Finally, our interesting pair to look out for is the Australian dollar, which produced a spectacular rise against the New Zealand dollar, edging as high as 130.43 on Friday. The pair appreciated by 219 pips and thus recorded a weekly return of 1.7%. Friday's close was at 130.15 and the next resistance level is at 130.15. What will be interesting is to see whether there will be a continuation of the upward trend. It's been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma Andre from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good week. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click Join Now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.